Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of all nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. My name is Dorothy Owino, uh, originally from Kenya, but I live in the USA. Uh, the problem which has brought me here is severe back pain in my lumbar region. Man of God, this pain has frustrated me. It has extended to my waist, to all my joints. When I come from work, I feel like an 80 year old woman. Pain everywhere. This is my medical report from Beaumont Hospital. Agent. We are looking at this medical report from Beaumont, that's uh, in USA. It's a medical report for Lady Ngumo Jane. The doctors did lumbar sacral spine examinations because she has been complaining of this pain in the lumbar region. So when they examined her, they found that she has got degenerative changes. So this is what is being confirmed by Dr. Kanowski, Jessica, doctor in medicine. No, no, no. By the name Jesus. The healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ is touching Sister Dorothy from USA. Flashing out this pain she has suffered in the back for 15 years. And the she Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what Jesus Christ did 2,000 years ago and is now doing it again in the life of Sister Dorothy. Brother Pan, go for your free. Thank you, Jesus. She's now rising up in Jesus' name. Never to be the same again. Hallelujah. No pain, no pain, no pain. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I can touch my toes. I can bend my knees. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. from USA received an instant healing from all the pain. The following morning, she testified as you can witness. My name is Dorothy Owino, originally from Kenya and uh, currently residing in the USA. What brought me to Kakande Ministries was severe pain on my lower back. I had suffered with this pain for 15 years. How I sustained the pain, I got injured while at work, working as a medical assistant, trying to transfer a patient. This pain frustrated me. 15 years is not a short time. I went to see the doctors and they discovered that I had a, a pinched nerve or a herniated disc on my L4, L5. I was asked to go for physical therapy and I did physical therapy for six months and the pain persisted. So the doctor who was responsible for my therapy told me, Dorothy, I'll give you an advice as I would give my daughter. Back pain is very complex. You have options. You can go for surgery, and I, I cannot promise you that this pain will go away with surgery. You can choose to do injections in your back every three to six months according to how the pain will be controlled. And the other option he gave me was that I could do physical therapy to a point whereby the pain plateaus and then I can learn to live with the pain. I opted for the physical therapy because I was scared of doing the surgery or anything that penetrated in my spine. When my pain plateaued, I decided to go back to school and I secured another job because I had to be relieved of my previous job because I couldn't continue with it. The job that I secured 
did not require me to do so much bending, twisting, and I learned to live with my pain. I was taught exercises that I would live with every time I had a, a flare, which came frequently. 2019, I had a slip and fall in the ice and I broke my left leg. I had fractures in my left leg in three different places, which saw me be immobilized with a cast for eight weeks. After that, I was transitioned to a walking boot, but eventually I was relieved of that job as well. So I had to find another job. Thankful to God that the job that I got, I didn't have to touch any patients. All I had to do was a lot of paperwork. And I thought it was a very good, well-paying job. But little did I know that the job involved a lot of bending, twisting, you know, crouching, all that stuff I was not supposed to do. And I had a flare, a really bad flare up of my back pain. This time around, no matter what exercises I did, there was no relief. I went back to the hospital and they did an a x-ray. They found that I had narrowing in the disc spaces on my L4, L5 that was causing me the pain and also had degenerative changes. I was put on medications prednisone, which I finished, and then I was also put on muscle relaxant, methocarbamol. Methocarbamol, if you take it, it relaxes everything. You cannot work. You are very, very tired all the time. And more so, it gives you really bad constipation. I was also put on um, diclofenac sodium, which was for pain relief, which I had to take twice a day. And this is how I've been surviving with this pain. This medication did not help me. The job that I'm currently doing involved taking a lot of my work back home and sitting late in the night to do my job. So one of the habits I had formed while I'm working was to log on to YouTube and find an inspiration channel and watch it while I'm working. One of the nights while I was scrolling on YouTube, I saw this picture that said the Kakande Ministries and a picture of a man of God that I had never seen before. Out of curiosity, I clicked on it and what I saw made me put all my chats on the side and sit down and watch. I saw so many people with the same back challenges that I was facing, being prayed for and being relieved of their pain. I sent to my daughter the clip and I told her, look at this YouTube channel, watch this man of God. And she watched because she was also having challenges in her marriage. She said, mom, we have to go to Uganda. I told her I was also thinking about it. That was just about two months ago. So we started planning on the trip to come to Uganda. So the more we planned for this trip, the more we faced a different challenge, financial issues, because we both wanted to come. And she wanted to bring her kids as well because she said, my kids, their feet must step on this church ground because they have to be solid. So many things, so many responsibilities. As I kept on watching the man of God and building my faith. As he was preaching and teaching about trusting in God, about financial breakthrough, I would tap into that blessing every day. And I watched him every single day. I want to say I got my first miracle. My faith was built up and I decided I had credit cards which had maxed out. I couldn't even use them. So I took a step of faith, I said, I'm going to apply for this one more card, and I'm going to trust God that our transportation is going to come from this card. I didn't expect them to approve me for much, but praise God. When the approval came back in about two days, they had approved me for $10,000. Praise God. Just enough money that I needed to bring me and my family to Uganda. 
and we paid for the trip. Finally, last week on Wednesday, we arrived in Uganda. Praise the Lord. God did it for us, the persistent, the devil is a liar. We got here, I had so much pain. Every time I got into any unlevel ground, I would feel the pain right here in my back. My right leg, I almost had to drag it around. On Saturday, we, I was Come, privileged to be Kikanda arraigned Ministries. in Let the Prophet prayer Kikanda line. Prophesy your life, of God and it will never be the same again. And praise God. Have faith in God. I got my healing, healing and deliverance at the Kikanda Jesus Ministries did it for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That evening, I went home. Hmm. Stairs. When we came here, we rented an apartment. <laughs> if you want to know the devil is a liar, it ended up being on the fourth floor. We had to take stairs. Every day taking those stairs was painful, was so painful. But on Saturday, when the man of God prayed for us, I flew up those steps. No pain. No pain at all. The th I was not able to bend or touch my toes. Look at me. I can touch my toes now. I can twist. I can turn. I can do all the things that I could not do. No pain. Anything that bumped me and I could not, and I, and I could feel the pain on my back, I can bump. No pain. I don't feel anything. I can walk. I can run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One thing that I could not do was lift my beautiful grandchildren. I could not give them showers. And if I gave them showers, I would ask them to step out of the bathtub by themselves. Since Saturday, I gave them a shower and I lifted them both out of the tub. Something that I could not do. And I did it without thinking. I only thought about it afterwards that, oh my God, I did that and I didn't even feel any pain. I praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God, for allowing yourself to be used by Jesus Christ to heal people like me. Continue doing the good work of God. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries, let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.